Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you with uh, more bad news over the upcoming WrestleMania 32 event. I know that there's been a lot of things going bad with WrestleMania 32 and having to rework the card uh, to try and find the best possible scenarios for everyone to be. Um, uh, there was uh, a rumor that came out, I believe about a month ago, where it said The Rock was not going to be able to wrestle uh, due to an insurance policy that was being put out against him uh, for an upcoming movie. And basically the insurance company said, we will not insure you if you're planning on wrestling uh, because of the injuries that you uh, received during your matches at WrestleMania 28 as well as, as, as well as WrestleMania 29. The Rock has been a big part of the um, success of WrestleMania over the last few years. Him coming back for his return at WrestleMania 27, him main, main eventing WrestleMania 28 and 29, even though WrestleMania 30 and WrestleMania 31 were not, um, you know, sort of, promoted as The Rock was going to be there. It was sort of a surprise when The Rock showed up um, at WrestleMania 30 for the uh, Hall of Fame. And then WrestleMania 31, he was hosting Saturday Night Live uh, and then flew across the country in order to do the promo with Ronda Rousey and The Authority. Um, as of right now, it's basically saying that it does not make sense uh, for The Rock to be filming a movie and for him to hold up shooting of the movie, even if it's only for one day, for him to hop on his jet and fly to Dallas in order to film um, something for WWE at WrestleMania to be a part of the show. Um, he's got this movie um, where he's going to be playing the lead role with Zac Efron. Who the fuck is Zac Efron? I, I don't know. Uh, but um, uh, The Rock not being a part of WrestleMania 32 would be a big blow. Definitely him versus Triple H with, with some of the early plans of them having a, a, a match. And, and as a Triple H fan, I thought it would be able to be no bigger than that. Tying up all the loose ends on the Rock versus Triple H feud would be one hell of a deal. Um, but right now, WrestleMania 32 without the Rock, um, sort of, you know, even though he's not a real superstar on the roster right now, that is a huge hole. And, uh, you know, not having Seth Rollins, not having Cesaro, not having Randy Orton, having to rely on wherever John Cena fits into the, the, the WWE placehold when he comes back, if he's going to be going after the WWE United States Championship or because of the injuries, they're going to have to put him into the title picture uh, in order to have a big match. you got to figure out how to use Cena. you got to figure out how to use Reigns. Reigns versus Triple H seems like a big deal, but then when you do that, it sort of puts you of what do you do with Brock Lesnar? He's a big guy on the roster. Um, definitely, you can't put him up against a guy like Alberto Del Rio like you are at the LA um, Forum house show around Christmas time. You got to bring him back. You got to have him mean something. Does that mean that Brock wins the Rumble to go out for the championship against Roman Reigns? I'm not sure, but no rock equals troubles for WrestleMania 32.